Hello everyone! In this video I want to show you this device that I ordered from the internet. It's a vintage military compass that was made in the People's Republic of Romania in the year uh, 1956. And uh, it had a surprise for me. It is radioactive. You can see it has some self-luminous paint on the dial and on the needle. And what I didn't know, but uh, if you take a look at the year when this was manufactured, in the late 50s they used radium-based self-luminous paint. And when I got it out from the box and I saw that the paint has this brownish tint, I rapidly checked it with my Geiger counter and this is what I found. As you can see, this device is quite hot. <clears throat> now, it is hot, but the box, the containment box, the thick glass and the thick uh, plastic uh, thing here blocks most of the radiation. And that's good. If I would take this apart, I'm sure that the Geiger, Geiger counter would go nuts. If I turn off this light and I place here a UV light, you can see that it, the whole thing glows with an eerie bluish greenish color. But the thing that uh, concerns me most uh, are some specks of dust that are sitting in the bottom of the container. You can see one over there. But there are lots more. The problem with, the, with this dust is that it is radioactive and uh, as this paint flakes off a bit time. Uh, if you take this instrument apart, that flaked off paint, that dust, uh, can enter your lungs. You can breathe it in and that won't be good at all. So my advice for all of you who are collecting these vintage devices is that if you get your hands on such a device that has self-luminous paint on it and it is old, you should check, always check the color of the paint. If you see this brownish tint of the paint, that means, uh, most probably it means that the paint itself is radioactive. And with time the radiation degrades the paint, the self-luminous paint, and uh, it gets this brown, as you can see. And the, ra the radiation given off into the environment by this device itself is not, not that great. Because as I said earlier, the glass and the uh, plastic, the ebonite uh, casing, absorbs most of the radiation. The problem would be if I took this gadget apart, which I won't do, if I took this thing apart, that dust could be released. And that's the most dangerous scenario if you breathe in this radium containing dust. So if you purchase something vintage, old, 
a clock, an altimeter, uh, aircraft instruments, uh, a compass that was made uh, in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Uh, it's worthy to check it to see if it is radioactive. This doesn't cause me any concern as I won't open it and I will store it among the other old stuff. I won't be wearing it on my hand. But as, a, as you can see it's perfectly functional. Uh, so if you store it properly you don't open it. You don't sleep with it. <laughs> you don't put it under your pillow. Then this thing doesn't cause you any threat. No. This was a little surprise. I hope you liked this video. And uh, this was this was my advice for all of you. Check these old self-luminous paint containing instruments. You should check them. Or at least don't pull them apart. See you next time and take care of yourself.